Geonosis? Actually, lead in the charge, too. Hello, real. Well, I'm glad you think that. Hello, twerk. No, I haven't got the expansion for Shadow of War. I've just been going through and playing online, collecting all the, the best uh, captains I could. Oh, I forgot we have the CR2 on still. Not the gun for the job. We'll have to make do, of course. We've actually got most of our bases set up pretty good now, right now. We're getting a lot of people failing trying to capture them, but... They could still use some work, though. Oh boy, that's a lot of guys there. It's only been like two lives in this game and already from playing only single player games really the last week. To this, I can already feel the latency between shots. Like when a dude swings at me on single player, you know you can dodge it here. It's like you do and they'll still hit you. Like already after just like one, uh, one or two lives. Yeah, we're free. <laughs> oh boy. Brace yourself, lads. Have fun, short. I don't even know how to be. Let's start with Luke, why not? Oh, I got a shit ton of towers now. I got too many. None of them are like super great though. They're all right, but they're not like... Like, damn, I want to put that guy in my defense. Other than he looks cool. There's some pretty good tanks though, but I mean, there's some... They always seem to have some like really negative trait that goes along with them which is which kind of sucks nobody died from that oh that's uh, not ideal we lost all our hell Are we gonna get this objective, you guys? Did I not push that guy? Oh boy. Oh boy. Hope everything goes well, Harrison. Don't get in a car crash on the way down. Speaking of Florida, oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness. Yesterday, I went down to the ATM. I went out of the house for like a five-minute round trip. Like, this was nothing special, right? It was just supposed to be in and out, be quick. And randomly, some dude strikes up, some American guy who happened to be from Florida, strikes up a conversation with me. And it was one of those where you can't, like, walk away without looking like a dick, so you're kind of stuck. And, oh my goodness, this dude, he, he, I don't even know where to begin, man. I don't even know where to begin. He talked about geopolitics with Ukraine. He ultimately said Putin was uh, the only smart guy in the room, which I think that is just fucking hilarious, because if anything, it's probably the other way around. But, you know, <laughs> it was one of those dudes. He was some, like, economist who's worked for 30 years all over the world, and... He's to the, talk to the State Department and the Department of Defense, like he uh, supposedly, supposedly, you know, I'm just telling you what he tells me. The man's been everywhere. He's worked with all the big companies and it was just like, oh my goodness. There were some interesting things he said, but when 80% when of what you say is kind of like bullshit, you got to take the other 20% with a grain of salt, you know, where it's like, I don't know if I want to believe you, but he just would not take a hint. You know, when you keep slowly walking away you know but still trying to be like uh respectful but i'm like giving the hint like hey man i gotta go and after talking for like 20 minutes my girlfriend actually was walking back home <laughs> and she's there she just starts standing there like waiting for it to end gets on her phone and we ultimately ended up talking for like 40 minutes it was just one of those 
awkward situations you couldn't get out of. I was like, oh my goodness. But he, he basically said, uh, he talked about everything from Taiwan, and he had some interesting stuff about Taiwan, which was true, but then it went to Ukraine, then it went to uh, COVID, and it was just... He goes, if Trump gets in power, he'll stop all this. And I was like, okay, he's a Trumper right off the bat. Not saying I dislike Trumpers, but at the same time, if you're going to complete, speak complete utter bullshit, I mean, you're not doing uh, the Trump side a favor by uh, being idiots. But he, 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 he told me his whole life story and shit. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. It was one of, I haven't gotten one of those conversations in a while, but after like 30 minutes, he came out and he said, yeah, I'm from Florida. I'm like, ah. Yeah, you're from the meme state. I get it now. Makes a lot more sense when you put it that way. Like, ah, now I understand. He was a nice guy, but then he went it. Well, I, I shouldn't say he's a nice guy and then say what I'm about to say. Then he started talking like, oh, yeah, this is the most Christian country. And I was like, wait, you're a Christian now? Like, he, he didn't strike me as one. And then he goes... Yeah, you know, I was running the numbers. He loved talking about running the numbers on everything. He's an economist. He, you know, he runs numbers and shit like that. And he was like, you know, the last guys who got into office who helped the, wanted to help America's economy was Christian. And the other two were Jews. And they weren't. And then the Christian comes in. And he was doing good now. And it was like, ah, oh, like, oh, here we go. We're going down this route over now, boys. It was just like, oh, my goodness gracious, man. It was just one of those, like, goddamn. I wish I could record the conversation just so you guys could hear it. It could have been a video on its own. It was just like, what is this shit? And, like, the whole time I'm sitting there trying to be, you know, respectful. I don't want to be a dick, surprisingly. But it was just like, like, you just kind of, uh-huh, yeah, you know, you're just like, yeah, 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 uh-huh, yeah, yeah. It's just like, come on, man, let's fucking go. You don't see me walking away? Like, oh, my goodness gracious, man. No, the typhoon uh, missed us. Barely even gonna hit the Philippines. Not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed, but I'm probably one of the only ones. Then he he started talking, and like the one thing I kind of know shit about is the military stuff, and he kept going into that area, and he goes, "You know, man, these new hypersonics, Russia could wipe us out when they want," and I'm just they're like. What are you talking about? They can't even take Ukraine. Like, what are you talking about? They're gonna wipe the United States out. Like, how fucking dumb do you have to be? These new hypersonics, man. I'm like, fuck, he's throwing that keyword around. Yeah, hypersonic missiles are good, but we've had hypersonics for a long time. But I, I was so close to, like, calling him out on that, but then I knew that would have kept the conversation going longer, and I, I don't care if this guy's smart or dumb. doesn't affect me in any way once I get out of the conversation. But the hypersonics aren't good because of their speed. They're good because they're more maneuverable now. And if it's true, we just shot some down the, of the Russian one. I mean, realistically, I think those things are overrated. But it was just like, oh, my God, these new hypersonics. I'm like, oh, my God. This guy has been on some of those uh, websites. One of my family members I always roast about. Like, they have no idea what they're talking about. But somebody who thinks they know shit talked about it. And now they keep throwing this keyword, this keyword around hypersonics, man. Did you know Russia just put out these new subs that are untrackable? I'm like, bro, I, I'm finding that very hard to believe. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Russia has done nothing correct militarily, and yet now they're going to have some super subs we can't find. That 100% sounds like Russian propaganda when they're like, we just released this new super sub. Nobody can find it. It's so good. We have it sitting off the coast of... Washington and we will destroy it with hypersonic Kinzo missile and we'll make a sea of a tsunami a Radioactive tsunami, you know, that's what it sounded like and I'm like, oh god <laughs> They could wipe us out any moment. I'm like, All right, man If you say so, bro, if you fucking say so. It was just one of those like oh my god. But he was, it was all the things aside. He was a nice guy, but I think he's full of shit <laughs> To say the very fucking least it's Like oh my goodness like, he had, he had talked about, like, working with this, and I had people with a salary of 130000 a year, and this was in the 80s. And, you know, it, it was just like, you know, I, I'm i thinking this as I'm standing there, but I'm not going to say it. I'm not trying to be a dick, but I'm like, if you really did all the stuff you're alluding to and saying you have, you wouldn't be bragging. You wouldn't need to brag. You seem like a guy who hasn't done a whole lot. 
and you just want to brag them, you know? It's just like, I don't know, man. It was just one of I haven't been in a conversation like that in a long time where you're just like wanting to be anywhere but there. It's like, fuck. Nope, never been in the military. Else my family is or has been. I was about to at one point, but fucked up my back and uh, kind of put that on hold. Who knows? Maybe I'll go into the Navy or some point. They take some old ass guys, so who knows? Could still be in the future since the channel's dead, but who knows? I thought I had an ability. I do not. That's my mistake. Well, this guy does not want to die. Who does that? Ooh, there they got away. Yep. We're just gonna go this way. Yeah. Just like the Moskva can never be sunk, it's unsinkable, and then literally their own, the Russian report, not the, not our report on the situation, their own report was saying like, oh, this was down, you could either have this one system on or this system on, because they, they would kind of counteract each other, it was like, that thing was a fucking floating nightmare, what are you talking about? But in the media before the sinking, yeah, this Moskva is the flagship of the Black Sea Fleet. It cannot be touched by your puny American missiles. Literally, they shoot two fucking missiles at it and take it out. Like, it's not even... It was like a target. It wasn't even a, a up for defending itself. It was just sitting there to get shot at. Like, oh my goodness. The only interesting thing I found out from that conversation that I fact-checked was... I knew... Uh, uh, America's making a lot of military bases in the Philippines, but none of them were near me. But it turns out from the last time I looked at that headline, they updated what they were doing. We're basically giving the Philippines government a bunch of money to refurbish some of their military airfields so our forces can use it. And one of those air, uh, airfields is Mactan. Uh, I forgot the official name, but it's in Mactan. It's on the island I'm on. And my girlfriend's house or her parents' house is like literally touching that airfield. She grew up on there, so I'm like, oh shit, we about to have the U.S. military station next door here soon.